Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another reading of the Bible. We are continuing in 2 Kings chapter 10. Chapter 10. Ahab had 70 sons in Samaria. <clears throat> Yehu wrote letters and sent to Samaria unto the rulers of Jezreel, Jezreel, to the elders and to them who brought up Ahab's children, saying, now, as soon as this letter cometh to you, see if your master's sons are with you, and there, and there are with you chariots and horses, and a fenced city also with armor. Look even out the best and meet, meetest of your master's sons. Meetest. Let's get the reference there. Let's see. Not intend to uh, fortify. Even out the best and fortified of your master's sons, or well trained, it's probably that's probably what it means. Well trained of your master's sons, and set him on, in his father's on his father's throne, and fight for your master's house. But they were exceedingly afraid, saying, "Behold, two kings stood not before him. How then shall we stand? He who was over the house, and he who was over the city, the elders also, the bringers up of the children, sent to Yehu, saying." We are thy servants, and will do all that thou shalt bid us. We will not make any king. Do thou that which is good in thine eyes. Then he wrote a letter the second time to them, saying, If ye be mine, if, if ye will hearken unto my voice, take ye the heads of the men of your masters, of the men your masters' sons, and come to me to Jezreel. Come with me to Jezreel by tomorrow this time. Now. Tomorrow this time. Now the king's sons, being seventy persons, were with the great men of the city who brought them up. It came. It came to pass when the letter came to them that they took the king's sons and slew seventy persons and put their heads in baskets and sent him to Jezreel. There came a messenger t telling him, saying, "They have brought the heads of the king's sons." And he said, "Lay them." Lay ye them in two heaps at the entering in of the gate until morning. It came to pass in the morning that he went out and stood and said to all the people, Ye be ye be righteous. Behold, I conspired against my master and slew him, but he slew all but who slew who slew all these. Know now that there shall fall unto the earth nothing of the word of the Lord, which the Lord spaketh or speak spake or spaketh. Concerning the house of Ahab, for the Lord had done that which he spake by his servant Elijah. So Jehu slew all that remained of the house of Ahab in Jezreel, and all his great men and his kinsfolk, kinsfolks, and his priests, until he left, left him none remaining. He arose and departed, and he came to Samaria. And as he was at the shearing house in the way, Jehu met with the brethren of Ahaziah, king of Judah, saying, who are who are ye? And they answer, We are the brethren of Ahaziah, and we go down to salute the children of the king and the children of the queen. He said, Take them alive, and they took them alive, and slew them at the pit of the shearing house, even two, even forty two men, neither left he any of them. When he had departed thence, he lighted up on Yehonadab, the son of Rakab, coming to meet him, and saluted him, said, said to him, saying to him, Is thine heart right, as my heart is with the, my heart, as my heart is with thy heart? And Jehonadab answered, It is. If it be, give me thine hand. And he gave him his hand, and took, him, took, up, took up to him into the chariot. And he said, Come with me, and see my zeal for the Lord. So they made him ride in his chariot. When he came to Samaria, he slew all that remained unto Ahab in Samaria, till he had destroyed him according to the saying of the Lord, which he spake to Elijah. Jehu gathered all the people together, saying unto them, Ahab served Baal, or Baal, a little, but Jehu served him much. Now therefore call unto me all the prophets of Baal, all his servants, and all his priests. Let none be wanting, for I have a great sacrifice to do to Baal. Whosoever shall be wanting, he shall not live. But Jehu did it in sub sub subtility to the intent that he might destroy the worshipers of Baal excuse me uh, Yehu said 
proclaim a solemn assembly, this is verse 20. Yehu said, proclaim a solemn assembly for Baal, and they proclaimed it. Yehu sent through all Israel, and all the worshippers of Baal came, so that there was not a man left that came not. When they came into the house of Baal, and the house of Baal was full from one end to, an to another. He said unto him who was over the vestry, Bring forth vestments for all the worshippers of Baal. And they brought them forth vestments. Yehu went, and Yeho Yehonadab, the son of Rechab, Yehu went, and Jehonadab, the son of Rechab, into the house of Baal, and said unto the worshippers of Baal, Search, and look for, look that there be here with you none of the servants of the Lord, but the worshippers of Baal only. When they went in to offer sacrifices and burnt offerings, Jehu appointed sixty men, or eighty men, excuse me, outside, saying, If any of the men whom I have brought into the, your hands escape, he that let he who letteth him go, his life shall be for the life of him. It came to pass as soon as he had made an end of offering, the burnt offering, that Yehu said to the guard and the captains, Go in and slay them. Let none come forth. And they smote them with the edge of the sword, and the guard and the captains cast them out and went to the city of the house of Baal. They fought forth the images out of the house of Baal and burned them. They break down the image of Baal and break down the house of Baal and made it a draught house unto this day. Thus Yehu destroyed Baal out of Israel. How be, how be it from the sins of Jer Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel, Israel to sin, Yehu departed not from, from after them, to which the golden calves that were in Bethel and those that were in Dan. The Lord said unto Yehu, Because thou hast done well in executing that which is right in mine eyes, and hast done unto the house of Ahab according to all that was in mine heart, Thy children of the fourth generation shall sit on the throne of Israel. But Yehu took no heed to walk in the law of the Lord God of Israel with all his heart. For he departed not from the sins of Jeroboam, who made Israel to sin. In those days the Lord began to cut Israel short, and Hazael smote them in all the coasts of Israel. From Jordan eastward all the, all the land of Gilead, the Gadites, the Reubenites, the Manasites, Man Man for Aurora, which is by the river Arnon, even Gilead and Bashan. Now the rest of the acts of Yehu and all that he did and all his might, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel? Yehu slept with his fathers and they buried him in Samaria. Jehoahaz, his son, reigned in his stead. The time that Yehu reigned over Israel and Samaria was 28 years. It's a long time. So that's chapter 11 of 2 Kings. Hope you enjoyed it.